Hello all, today we will discuss about the K value, R value and U value and these terms are generally used in thermal calculation of a building. So first we will start with the K value. So K value generally is represented by the lambda or uh, K value uh, K uh, term. So K value heat conductivity of a material and it is also represented as the lambda. And the unit is watt per uh, meter Kelvin. And uh, K value is the amount of heat that will be transmitted through the square, one square feet of a one inch thick insulations in order to cause the temperature to rise or fall one degree Fahrenheit from one side of the insulation to the other. So K value is the uh, properties of material material itself and at an element level. We have discussed it earlier. Now, K value of insulation simply we can get it by dividing the thickness by the R value. So, if we want to uh, find out the K value, we have to divide the thickness of that particular material by the R value. And if we want to get the R value, we divide the thickness by K value. Now we will discuss about the R value. U value. So U value thermal transmittance is the rate of transfer of heat in watts through one square meter of a structure uh, divided by the difference in temperature across this structure. So as we have discussed earlier that U is equal to heat flow over area into delta T and unit is watt per square meter Kelvin and the points for thermal transmittance uh, which is important is well insul insulated part of a building have a low thermal transmittance and poor insulated part of a building have a high thermal transmittance and for calculations we don't add U value, we add R value and then we get the required U value. And U value thermal transmittance is the property of the component level. We have discussed earlier as it is the property of uh, brick and property of a, uh, concrete and it is also the expression of the heat loss and U value generally indicate the heat loss and K value was indicating the conductivity within material. So formula we can get the U value and now we will discuss about the R value. So R value is the thermal resistance. This is the ability of a material to prevent the passage of heat. So thermal resistance is denoted by the R value and we can get R value by dividing the thickness of material by conductivity, thermal conductivity or conductivity of the material. But we have discussed earlier uh, thickness of material divided by the K. So we can express this uh, as square meter Kelvin per watt. So generally R value is the uh, inversely uh, proportional to the U value. R is equal to 1 by U value or U value is equal to 1 by R value. So this was the thermal resistance R value. Now by this example we will understand how we calculate the U value and R value in a uh, building or and uh, how we calculate for any numerical part. So as a question a brick wall 19 centimeter thick has a thermal conductivity 0.811 watt per uh, meter degree centigrade outside and inside surface conductance of the wall are given and we have to find out the U value of the wall. So remember here surface conductance of the outside and inside surface is given 16 and 8 watt uh, per square meter degree centigrade. So this is the U value they have given uh, about the surfaces and first we have to calculate the U value of the wall itself. So U value is equal to thermal conductivity by thickness of wall and we know U value is equal to 1 by R value and 
we divide thermal conductivity by thickness of wall to get the u value and we get the u value 4.26 watt per square meter degree centigrade now we will calculate the all the uh, r value and we will add this r value of that particular wall all the resistance value is added and uh, like 1 by 60 for the surface 1 uh, we divide uh, we calculate u value putting 1 by r value here then 1 by uh, uh, 4.26 u value plus 1 by 18 so 1 by 16 here is the uh, r value we put here uh, u value and by formula by this formula u value is equal to 1 by r value we put the value here and we get the r value so now we have to calculate the u value of the composite wall so if we calculate the u value of the total composite wall we have now r value of all the surfaces by adding the these uh, r value now 1 by r value we put the value and we get the u value so in this questions we have to remember that we have to add only r value sigma r is uh, all the r value of the component and r value we get putting the u value in formula so generally we are calculating the r value here and you can uh, understand by how we solve the questions of u value and r value and next video we will do some uh, another example of u value r value and related to the thermal calculations thank you